is the tournament in Bandrati going for you? Yeah. <laughs> well, for me, it's over. I uh, finished my last game rather quickly. It was uh, a draw. It was a short one. Uh, one of uh, five draws I made in this tournament. So it's quite kind of unusual. I won my first game okay. and then I was winning in a couple of more, but then nothing really worked. So it just happens sometimes. So for me, <laughs> uh, I'm not the happiest uh, player in this competition, I guess, but uh, it, you know, I'm used to it. Things do happen. Sometimes you're in yeah. good form and sometimes you're just not. That's, so, yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. And uh, about, uh, can you just uh, tell about, about your camp which re recently took place and the upcoming uh, camps you're going to uh, yeah, learn um, about? Yeah, just prior to this competition I was running a one-week um, camp in Dublin. I always do them at uh, mid-term break because they are popular. So the idea is that we meet uh, in a school. One of uh, two usual locations would be St. Conrad's College in Ballsbridge. And sometimes I also have them in St. Mary's in uh, Butterstown. So we uh, meet, we allow kids to play chess, friendly games, have a bit of fun. And then uh, after half an hour, we meet at 10 o'clock, after half an hour we start uh, two classes, uh, which I would normally run myself in the advanced group. We have usually beginners and advanced players. And we do it uh, for the whole week. And during that week, we also run competition. We do swap chess tournaments. So it's uh, really combining uh, having fun with learning something about the game. Yes. And looking back, I think that's been very useful for many players over the years because I remember players such as Conor O'Donnell and oh, Henry attending Lee the camp, yeah. and uh, Tom O'Gorman. They were yeah. always attending those camps. They were in many of them. And those are the guys who are now uh, really competing hard on places on the uh, national team, on the Irish uh, national team. And there are, of course, some younger players, those who hopefully will be doing the same in a few years' time. So some of those kids are competing here uh, in these tournaments and just chatting to them. Some of them are doing pretty well. Some of them you know, could have done better, but this is yeah. life. So, yeah, overall, I think they're quite happy. Yeah. And uh, so at Bandrati, how are your students doing, sir? Well, yeah, like I said, some of them, some of them I had a chat, some of them are on high schools, like five out of five, uh, four out of five, you know, five out of six, but some of them are not that, not doing that well. But, you know, one must remember for some of them, it's like either first or one of the very first tournaments. So they're kind of at the beginning of the journey, you know, uh, on, uh, in that sense. So, uh, but it's obviously a very useful event because they can get uh, to see Grandmaster games, they get the atmosphere and they really, I hope they do get this chess bug so they will be coming back and you know continue playing. Yes. It will be a major boost I think uh, to anyone's young player uh, participating in a tournament like Ben Reddy where yeah. they had record numbers this year. I think oh, it yeah. would be a, a great help to their chess. You know, we are going to have uh, the Irish Juniors Chess Championship in Belfast. So, uh, what do you think about our juniors? Uh, what could they benefit from it? And well, uh, first of all, I think they uh, most players should really must play in these competitions because this is where you really find out where you stand in your age group. Yeah. Uh, and it also would, uh, if somebody does well, they get the right to represent uh, Ireland in international junior competition. So I think if people can play, they really should, regardless of the fact that they are likely to win or not likely, but this is a really good competition to take part in. And um, I think the junior chess is certainly improving in, uh, in Ireland. There are more juniors uh, playing chess. They are getting stronger. I remember the times from the 90s when um, Irish juniors would go to European or World Junior, and if they got like two out of nine, 
oh. three out of nine they were saying that's a really good result because they they were lacking in coaching they were lacking in uh, expertise yes. and yes. experience nowadays that's changing that's changing fast there are more tournaments there are international tournaments uh, yeah. people travel abroad more people get to play kind of their uh, main competitors in different events and they get more experience so I think it's a uh, the, the future I I I think is looking pretty bright uh, thank you very much sir and uh, your, your efforts are really incredible uh, for ICU and uh, thank you very much for thank talking you. to us thank you, thank you.